Buenos dias, mis amigos. It is Friday, the day before beauty con. I have my, I'm sleeping on my black pillow. All my white pillows are over there because I dyed my hair, which you're gonna see when I turn the lights on or get up. But, um, so yeah, I have a lot to do today. So of course it's gonna be a vlog day. I have so much preparation that needs to be done. Um, just with like me just attending, like I have a lot to take care of, um, looks wise. I am definitely gonna go get a haircut today. That appointment is at two o'clock. I just texted my barber, so I have, it's, um, what is it? It's going on 11, it's like 10.55 right now. So, okay, so let me tell you the tea. So I ordered this shirt um, from a, a Instagram boutique, I guess you can call it, um, that I'm gonna be wearing a beauty con. Matter of fact, I can show you now because you probably aren't gonna be seeing this until after beauty con is over with. And so yeah, I didn't wanna give away no sneak peeks of my outfit before the event. Also, don't mind my eyebrows, they look a mess, but it's okay. Okay, so this is the shirt. Oh my God, it is so nice. Let me go in some natural lighting so you can see these colors. Yeah, so it's like a full lace shirt, but it has like these roses obviously on it and it's like giving you see-through. It's giving you a whole bunch of color, which I, that's exactly what I wanted. Like I wanted something that was definitely gonna like make a statement. Um, but I also wanted like some colors in there so I can like explore with the makeup and everything, um, which leads me to my next objective for today. Oh, well, let me finish talking about the outfit. So I ordered this shirt or whatever, and then I had an outfit envisioned. I was like, I want to do like a nice like oversized jogger, almost like a harem pant, but fitted at the bottom. Um, and I was going to do black. And then I was thinking like maybe having like suspenders or something hanging from just to like give like a, a real like moment, you know? Um, so I ordered some pants. I ordered these pants maybe a little over a month ago, and they still have not shipped, which I'm very upset about. Um, with that being said, I don't have pants to wear with my shirt for BeautyCon, and it's tomorrow. So we will be going shopping to try to find some type of pant. I mean, I have pants. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna just throw on some blue jeans or something, but I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go to the mall, try to find some pants for that. As I was saying about the makeup, I have no idea what makeup I'm gonna do. Um, I, I want it to be a look. I don't even know if I'm gonna have my hair out. I dyed my hair and I'm gonna get a haircut, but I might just end up doing like a black like turban head wrap type thing just to, to, to give it a look. What I'm thinking my aesthetic is gonna be for BeautyCon, I wanna do, I like dark, like I like dark eyes, I like a smoky eye, but it's still a daytime event. So I'm thinking of playing on that contrast of like bright colors, like for the shirt, and then like dark, like making it smoky as well. Like so like bright base, dark eye, I don't know. Um, and then I do wanna do like a bold lip, which I normally don't do, but this shirt has these colors in it. So I'm thinking of probably doing a red lip um, which is going to be interesting. I don't know. So that's another thing we're going to be doing today. After I get my hair cut, after I find my pants, I want to come back and just sit down and practice my makeup because, like, I need to do a practice run. So the day of, I know what I'm going to do. I know how it's going to look. I know my desired effect, you know? So yeah, that's all that we're going to do today. I dyed my eyebrows, so they look super dark. Um, it also, like, dyed the skin underneath, so they look a mess. Um, and then once I dyed them, I got to see, because they were lighter, and now that they're dark, I can see how uneven and how poorly shaped I've been doing them. <laughs> Which is okay, because tomorrow, BeautyCon, I'm gonna have makeup on, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, so that is the agenda for today. We are gonna be rolling solo. I was gonna hang out with my friend Alima, but she has prior obligations. So it is just gonna be me, myself, and I. And you! <laughs> All right, so I'm about to go ahead and get ready. Like I said, it's going on 11 o'clock, which means I have 12, one, two, <laughs> three hours until my hair appointment. So I'm going to try to get ready, head down to the mall, and then try to find some pants to go with the shirt. Oh, glory. It is hot. Well, it's not even hot. It's um, been raining here. So right now we have like, I want to say like 50% humidity, which is a lot for Vegas because it's usually zero. Um, and it's all of 96 degrees right now. 
and I am up here wearing pants. I mean, they're soccer pants, so they're lightweight, but I should have put on some shorts. I was like, mm, it's cloudy. It won't be that hot, but it's definitely not. Oh well, either way, I plan to be indoors the majority of my day. So yes, we are in the car. I just got in the car, leaving my house. It is about 12.05, 12.06 right now. And I'm on my way to the mall. Again, my haircut is at two, so hopefully I can get to the mall and get done by like 1.30. And then I will, I don't know, I'm just really hoping that I find something, guys. I really need some pants to wear to BeautyCon. I'm not trying to wear no basic ass jeans because I'm not a basic ass batch. I'm just kidding. <sighs> All right, well, yeah, I'm gonna drive. I'll keep you posted. This is where I'm going. This is the Fashion Show Mall here on the Las Vegas Strip. Uh-oh, gotta go. So I'm inside of Top Shop, well, Top Man. And I came over to the sales section and I actually found two, I don't know, let me hang them up so you can show you. So I found these, which are like a, a cargo pant jogger, but they're olive green. And then I also found this tapered pant, and it's just like a distressed light blue, almost white denim. I'm gonna have to try them on, and I'm gonna try them on. I brought the shirt with me in this little bag here, um, and I'm gonna try them on and see how they look with the actual shirt. Okay, so obviously not with the, these pants, but I'm thinking if I were to have done like the tapered leg, the cropped leg pant, and then just a loafer with no sock, and it's kind of like that brush pink color. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like it's kind of cute. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the gold detail, because I only wear like silver metal and jewelry. I don't know, but I'm thinking like, what if these, you know, came up to like the ankle, and then I had on a loafer. I don't know, I'm just trying to put things together because I also don't know what shoes to wear. So this is the shirt on. Look at the colors, oh my God. But I tried on like the cropped, distressed pants, and I actually kind of like this look with the loafer that I was talking about. I don't know, maybe a different shoe, but I, I'm kind of feeling like the shirt with the pants. It looks very like summertime, very comfortable. Um, but I don't know, I gotta try on the rest. Mm. Actually, maybe not. I'm still gonna get the pants either way, like beauty con or not, but I don't think, I don't know, the shoes, it's not making a big enough statement. I feel like the top is too colorful for the shoes to be so pastel, you know? I don't know. This is option one. Okay, so I randomly wanted to see what it would look like tucked in, and low key, I feel like I feel like I like this look with like just like a nice like simple black braided belt and then I can just do black shoes and call it a day. I don't know. I kind of like this look. I'm definitely getting these pants. They're on sale and they're $25. So I'm definitely getting the pants. Not the shoes. I know no to the shoes. But tucked in, this isn't half bad. And then I'm thinking of having a crossbody. Um, probably an olive green crossbody that I have. This isn't bad. I forgot to show you guys number two. Um, I tried these on. These are nice, actually. I like these. They're just, they're $50. I have these in the same color, but these are the cargo ones. And I decided that I'm definitely going to be tucking in the shirt. It's way too long for me to not tuck it. But I kind of like this. I just don't know what shoes I would wear. Maybe these, like, same kind of loafers, but in black. I don't know, I think this is cool. Or if they have these in like red. Oh, I gotta go back and look and see if I can find some in red. Cause I think that would look nice. Okay, so I just ended up getting the crop to light blue denim um, pants. Not for my outfit for tomorrow, but just to have, cause I actually like those pants. And I normally don't do anything cropped. I also don't ever do anything tucked in. So I'm actually surprised that I like that. Um, but, 
in trying on those colors. Like the olive green, I love olive green, but it just wasn't like doing it for me. So I feel like I want to get like a red pant, like something that's like loud in color. Not like bright fire engine red, but like if I can get like a dark red, almost burgundy. Um, so with that being said, I'm walking over to Forever 21 now to see if I can find something there. But we'll see. Alright, so I think I may have found a winner. I love these. They're like obviously pink, but it matches the pink in the shirt very well, you see? So I think I'll do this. I might cuff them and then try to find like a black loafer to wear with them. But I think this is nice, nice and colorful. Um, gives me a little bit of options for what I can do with makeup. I'm automatically thinking like red line ombre lip into like this baby pink to match the pants. So I think I, I'm definitely gonna get these. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys, my barber texted me saying he has to pick his daughter up from school. So now my appointment's not until 3.30, but like I need my haircut and I don't really wanna go anywhere else. So I was like, whatever, that's cool. I mean, it gives me more time to like do stuff, but I think I found my pants. Um, so yeah, I'm about to buy these, head home. I guess I'll just play in makeup. Well, it's two now, so I don't even have time to like play in the makeup. Okay, so now that I'm gathering some information, information, inspiration for my makeup, I'm realizing that I don't own a red lip liner or lipstick for that matter. So, with that being said, I'm about to head to Sephora right now um, so I can try to find a red lip liner. I don't even need nothing like fancy, nothing expensive. Um, or I might go to Kiko as well just to see because I know sometimes they have sales and hopefully I'll be able to find... Um, she almost walked right into me like, were you not going to move? Anyways, um, see if I can find a red lip liner. Perfect. So this is ideal for what I need because I'm not going to use it that much. It's only six dollars and comes in like a little, a little trial one. Not trial, but like travel time. So this would be perfect. Okay, y'all, I am tripping. If I'm looking for makeup that I'm barely gonna use, because like I don't wear bold red or pink lips any other time. So what do I look like going to Sephora and spending an arm and a leg? Although I did find some travel size ones that were like $7. For that price, I can get full size at the drugstore and it'll probably even work better. So I totally forgot, I, you know, I don't have to get everything while I'm here. So later today, I'm gonna go and try to pick up some stuff. I probably wanna include that on the vlog. Um, but I'll probably find some lips. What I need to be focused on is what shoes I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna go back to Topshop because I wanna try to find, I forgot if they have loafers, those loafers that I had on, if they have them in black. Cause if so, I think I'll just get those. Um, but I do need some shoes. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna wear on my feet. So that is the mission now, shoes. So I'm back at Topshop. Um, I'm just gonna probably get these loafers. I actually really don't like these only because they look like I have some moccasins that I wear as house shoes and they look just like that um, at least the, the pinkish ones that I had have like a little buckle on it's had some like hardware hardware on them sorry I can't talk um, but I just need some shoes and I can actually use these like when I go out and like the dress code is like not casual then I have like just a casual black pair of shoes that I can put on that go with anything so I'm gonna get them um, but yeah, outfit's complete. I obviously have the top. I'm gonna do the pink pants um, and then these black loafers. Now all I have to do is just buy some makeup. I mean, I have all the eye stuff I could ever need, um, but I need some lipstick. I'm gonna go to the drugstore. Actually, I bought a red liquid lipstick already, so I'm probably gonna use that as like the liner. I just need like a, a pale pink inside to go in the middle. I might do nude. No, I want, I want like a pale pinky nude to go in the middle of the lip. And then for the eyes, I have no idea. I don't even really want the lip and the eyes to match. I'm thinking of doing like, maybe, I don't want to do gold. I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, so I'm back in my car. That was a successful little shopping trip. Um, it's now about 2.30 and now I just gotta wait to get my hair cut. But I think what I'm gonna do is drive over to that side of town and then I'll just go to like a Walmart or whatever over there and then just like shop around for makeup until it's time to get my hair cut, which I don't honestly think is gonna take a whole hour from now, but... Oh, I need to eat too. Okay, so now I can occupy my time. All right, yeah, that'll be good. Just, that'll be good. So I can make it to the barbershop by 3.30.
perfect. I gotta tell y'all about this. Uh, when I was in Sephora, cause you know how you, they don't like, I've seen from people like who try to like vlog and stuff in there, they like, you're not supposed to film or whatever. But you know, I recorded that little bit that I recorded for you guys showing you like the lipsticks or lip liners or whatever. And so like, as I was doing it, this girl was next to me like looking through the items, which I thought was she was just shopping, but apparently she worked there. She wasn't in like the same uniform or whatever. But yeah, so she she was like watching me. She didn't know if I was recording or not, but then she's like looking at my screen and hearing me talking. And so like, she didn't say anything, but she was just like staring at me, like staring at my face to, I guess I was supposed to like look at her and stop. So I just, that did what I had to do and so when I finished recording like you know I turned my phone off and then I kept like swatch I was swatching and everything and so she's just like staring me in my mouth like but I can feel her and I see her out my peripheral looking at me but I'm not gonna look at her because you're you don't have anything to say to me and I'm not even recording anymore so at this point carry on go do your job somewhere else so I guess she thought what she was gonna do from then on was stand right next to me looking at my face to, to try to stop me the next time I tried to record, you know, so she could be like, um, excuse me, so you can't record. And so, like, I just continued to swatching and do my business. And, like, every time I moved down, she kind of moved down, too. And she was, like, waiting for me to look at her. But, like, she was just burning a hole in the side of my face. Like, girl, get out my face. Like, you, this, this is a whole story. There's about 50 million people in here. You got something better to do than to be staring up here at me like you the fucking hall monitor trying to, uh, stop me from recording. Bitch, if I'm gonna record, I'm gonna record. Go about your day. Don't you have something else to do like i have no problem with a bitch just doing her job i have total respect for that what i don't have respect for is the fact that you're not going to say something but instead you're going to try to make me feel uncomfortable or try to intimidate me from do from you know enjoying myself and doing whatever the fuck i was doing which was minding my damn business what you need to be doing anyways that's the tea on that um i just wanted to tell y'all because she was really getting on my nerves just standing there looking at like she was like dead ass like like, staring with an attitude. I don't know if y'all know what I mean when I say that, but she was looking at me with an attitude. All right, well, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm about to head over to that side of town that my barber's on, go to the drugstore, and try to find some lippies. It's a, a little after three, so I figured I'd go to Taco Bell since it's in the same shopping center as my barber shop. That went not too far. What's up, Mr. Baker? I feel like you today. Good, how are you? I'm doing good, thinking fast. Okay, what can I get for you? Can I get a cheesy gordita crunch? I'm sorry? A cheesy gordita crunch. Okay. And also, can I do the nacho fries? Okay. Uh, and that's it. Would you like to have a large cup to maybe a sauce pack with like 100 miles? Wait, what'd you say? It means sauce pack with like 100 miles. Um, no sauce. Never have been scratched. I'll be forced to do that. Let's take Okay, thank you. I understand it becomes routine of you working here and taking orders and everything, but I hate when people don't enunciate when they work at a fast food place. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if if we can only speak, I can't read your lips or anything, then bitch, speak up. Mm, this is my first time trying these nacho fries. So I'm assuming it's just like regular seasoned fries with nacho cheese to dip it in. I don't know, but these are bomb AF. Okay, you hear me? I've never been, and I got my cheesy gordita crunch. I've never been one of those people to be like, um, that person clearly wants me or obviously was flirting with me. However, I do think the boy who took my order and after drive through was trying to flirt. First of all, when I got the total or whatever, I was like, oh wait, why am I putting this on my car? Let me just use the exact change. So, he opened the window and I was still getting my change together. So I gave him, it was four sixty three. I gave him the $4. I was like, oh, give me one second. I'm still getting the change. And then he was standing there and I'm like counting out my coins. And I was like, I'm so sorry. He was like, no, it's okay. And he closed the window. And he came back with the bag and I had the change. And I was like, oh, here's the change. He was like, oh no, it's okay. I was just like, okay, well, all right, thank you. I mean, whatever. Um, and so after he gave me the food, he was like, did your ear piercing hurt? And I was like, look, and I was like, maybe he can't see because like, I don't have but my earlobe pierced, you know? I thought he thought I maybe had a cartilage piercing or something. And so I was just like, I was like, I only have this one. 
And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm just so scared. And I was just like, oh, like now that I know that you're talking about this, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I don't know nobody. First of all, asking if an earlobe piercing hurts. I feel like everybody in their mama got their ears pierced. That A or B, why are you afraid to get your ear? Like, I thought, I can see if it was, I don't know. I feel like that was an effort of him trying to, like, make conversation or whatever. I don't know. I think I'm probably thinking too deep into it. But he was just really weird and awkward. Not awkward. He was clearly gay. Um, I don't know. But that's that. I got my food. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm literally parked outside of the barber shop. So that way at 3.30, I can just run inside. I'm running out of cheese. My friend. Oh, that cheese was hot. Oh yeah, but I can get into that. If you know me, you know I love a sauce. I love a legendary dip, okay? Anything that I can add to like spruce anything up, I'm all about it. So, fries with some sauce, hell yeah. I didn't realize how hungry I was. You know what I hate about the way Taco Bell does their shit is like the meat and stuff is only at the bottom and then the rest of this is just lettuce. And it's just like, I wish I can tell them like, can you mix it up for me? Like, can you just mix it all up? So I eat mine from the bottom. Like I'll just go across the bottom and eat all the meat out. Hmm. That's what he said. I'm probably not going to add the makeup part into this video. Just because I feel like this is going to be a long ass vlog. Granted, I did want my vlogs to start being longer. But, I feel like this might be a little too long. I'm actually thinking of like this graphic liner type of look. Where it's like a graphic wing or whatever. But then it also curves around into the crease and it's really pointy. And then in the inside of that, I would just be using like negative space on the lid. So it's really just a black liner look. I feel like that might be a little dull. I'm debating if I want to do that. Like something just like simple. Well, that's not simple, but like simple in terms of like color. Or if I want to do like full color and go like really bold. Actually, you know what? I, there's In my Nubia palette by Juvia's Place, there's a shimmer in there. And it's like a duochrome pink and gold shimmer. That is going to be perfect with my shirt. Yes. Yes, I'm going to use that. So maybe I'll just do that on the lid. Ooh, if I can smoke that out into a dark burgundy. Pink and gold glitter into burgundy with a sickening black wing. Okay, now we cook it with gas. All right, haircut is done. Again, got my nice little taper. As you guys know, I'm growing my hair back out so I'm not getting it cut down. Just getting it tapered. He does a damn good job. He does such a good job. I love it. Now the black doesn't look so bad because it actually like has a shape. Low key, it looks like they use like the little Beijing or whatever on me. But it's because I dyed my hair so dark. <laughs> it looks like unnatural dark. But it's okay. Because tomorrow, it's going to be a look. Um... When I keep saying, so I know this is probably going to be up after BeautyCon. So when I keep referring to tomorrow, I mean BeautyCon. Because it's Friday, BeautyCon is on Saturday. And so that's when I'm getting all like dolled up and everything. But anyways, hair is cut. Um, I'm just probably going to stop at Walmart or whatever. And try to find, I think what I'm going to use is hot. Hold on, let me start this car. So um, I went to Walmart and I got the... Um, Maybelline color no what is it Maybelline super stay liquid lipsticks the matte liquid lips and those stay and I figured since I'm gonna be in makeup like all day tomorrow at the convention I will need something that's gonna have some staying power so I got a red one of those which is good and then I just need to try to find like something that's like a really like pale pink like almost like a nudie pastel pink color to go in the middle so I'm just gonna go pick up one of those and then I'm done for the day. I'm going to go home and practice on some makeup. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think I have uh, too much left to do. I guess I'll take you guys with me to go pick up the lipstick. 
and then I will call it a day. Okay, so these are what I'm talking about. I recently came, I picked up this one, and I also picked up this one. Is this one Visionary? Oh no, this is Philosopher. Oh, I picked up this one here, Visionary. Um, and I will say one thing I do like about these is that they're very true to color on the outside, so I don't really have to swatch. But I think this, ooh, either one of these is more along the lines of what I was thinking. Obviously the light one is more nude, but I was kind of looking for like a nude pink to go on the inside of my ombre. I think this might be a little just too pink. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one here. Because I'm doing an ombre, I think I can get away with something this light in the center if I just like kind of blend it down. Or should I do this one here? It's called Poet. It's definitely more of a nude, less of a pink. But I mean, look at the comparison. New decisions, decisions. I think I'm actually gonna go with this one. And then I'm gonna do the red to this ombre with a gloss. I am officially done with all of my errands and shopping that have to do with Beautycon. Um, so as you guys saw, I picked up this. I'm gonna use this to in the middle of my ombre lip uh, with a red on the outside. It's gonna be cute. And then I also, because you guys saw my shitty nails, I totally forgot to get my nails done and I don't feel like it. And I don't know how femme I'm gonna be going tomorrow, depending on my outfit. But if I do femme, I did decide to get some little press-on nails or whatever. Um, something real cute. One of my friends wears press-ons and they always look so good on her. And Jackie, I know wear press-ons, so I was like, you know what? Yeah, so I got this color because my shirt does have like a little bit of blue and green in it, um, as well as like pink and all the other colors. So I don't know, we'll see if I decide to wear these. If not, oh well, they were cheap. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. It has been a long day. It's about 4.40, almost 4.45. I just can't wait to get home. I just want to go home and play in some makeup, take a shower, and pack. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of this Tyler with an O goodness. And I will catch you all on my next video. Peace.